Two Minute Astronomy. Today's topic is astrophotography. I've got two minutes to tell you about the gear that I use to take photos of deep outer space. By the way, it's not cold in here, but when you've got a brand new cool NASA sweatshirt like this, you gotta show it off. Let's start the clock. Two minutes to explain how my astrophotography setup works. First thing we have is the little guide scope. That's that red telescope right there on the top. It only has one purpose. And that purpose is to lock in on a star and follow that star all night long. Then through that cord, it sends a message over to my computer, which will be running the software. The computer makes corrections and sends a little pulse over to the telescope mount to keep it locked on that target so that I can take really long exposures of five minutes or more. Then we've got the main telescope sitting right up there. That's where I'm actually taking the photographs through. I'm gonna lock that onto a target, whether it's the Orion Nebula, the Rosette Nebula, whatever it is I'm shooting that night. On the back is my camera. The camera will be taking pictures all night long. It's gonna be hooked up to this little electronic timer, which is right there on the pedestal. What that does is it's gonna take four to five minute photographs all night long until I get a total exposure time of four or five hours, depending on how long I need. At the bottom here, we've got a power box. That power box is gonna power up my computer and the telescope mount. And the purpose of that telescope mount is that it tracks the sky. So when I'm locked in on a target, that telescope mount is following the rotation of the earth on the sky so that it keeps everything locked into focus. And that right there is the basics of how this thing's gonna work. Then once it gets dark, the computer takes over and you let the software guide your, your mount to make sure it's locked in on your target throughout the night. Once you've gotten all your photographs, you bring it on into Photoshop. And in here, you're going to have to really manipulate this data. This is three and a half hours worth of exposures right here. But right now, it doesn't look like much. So you've got to run it through a few processes to really pull out the data that's hidden inside of that photograph. And after you do that, you end up with the final product that looks like this. And I'm out of time and that's the end of my video, but you are now two minutes smarter than you were three minutes ago. I'll see you next time.